Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the schema validation for the complex schema. In our previous video, we discussed about the embedded expression and for the complex schema validation, I'm going to use the concept of embedded expression. So let us look at the response of our get endpoint. So this is the response. So basically it is a JSON array. Inside this JSON array, we have JSON object and inside each JSON object, we have some properties as well as JSON array. So in order to create the schema for the validation, first I'm going to create a variable that is going to store the schema for this JSON array. Then I'm going to create one more variable that will have the schema for this entire JSON object. And then I'm going to use both of those two variables for validating the schema of the response coming from the get endpoint. So first I'm going to create a variable that will have the schema for this JSON array. Open and close curly braces project name and it is of type string then we have a technology which is a JSON array of type string so this is the schema for this JSON array in the similar manner I will create one more variable which will define the schema for this JSON object. So job ID is of type integer. job title is of type string and same goes for the job description also then we have experience array which is of type string then we have a project array Now in the project array, all the entry can be represented by this variable. This variable is defining the schema of every entry which is present inside this project array. So now I will use the embedded expression to reuse this schema. So pound key, open and close bracket, followed by the variable name. And for the validation, I will add another pound key. So basically this is the embedded expression and this is for the fuzzy matcher. If we look at the response of the get endpoint, it is a JSON array and the JSON array basically contains this JSON object whose schema is defined by this variable. So the final schema of the response structure of the get endpoint can be written as we know that it is a JSON array. So pound key and open and close square bracket and every entry inside that JSON array can be defined by the main schema. So pound key and the embedded expression for the main schema variable. And one more pound key to represent it as a fuzzy matcher. So basically this is the schema validation for the response structure of the get endpoint. So let me make a copy of this scenario in our current feature file. Also I will update the scenario title. So after the then statement, I will define both of our variables that represent the schema. And then I will add the matcher. And this is the matcher. 
the response of the get endpoint is a JSON array. So that's why we use this fuzzy matcher. And every entry inside that JSON array can be represented by the main schema. So that's why we use this embedded expression and one additional pound key to represent it as a fuzzy matcher. So let me go ahead and run the runner. I forgot to put this fuzzy matcher inside the single quotes. That is the reason why our scenario was failing. So as you can see here, our scenario is passing. Let me just modify this schema. And in this case, our scenario should fail. So in this manner, by combining the fuzzy matcher with the embedded expression, you can do the schema validation for complex schema.